Alright, I got it going, guys. <laughs> Sorry. There's a perfectly good seat over here. Well, there's a perfectly good seat next to Sam. You know, this movie's based on the true story of Veronica Torrance. Yeah, her mom locked her in a closet, so she killed her with a steak knife. Actually, it's a katana. And they're pretty large swords, but in this case, she used a small. So they sent her to prison in 1974? Actually, it was 1975. Yeah. It was definitely 1974. Or no, I'm pretty sure it was Are you guys serious? What? Are you, like, sure we're allowed to be here? Sam, trust me, we've done this a million times. The Kraken gave me the keys for the night. We're totally fine. Whatever. Hey, Herbie. Do you think you can get me some popcorn? Oh, sure. Dylan, if this is you, this is not funny. Jeez, where's the switch? Oh, there it is. Yeah, her mom locked her in a closet. So he killed her with a steak knife. Where's my popcorn? Does it look like I know? Why don't you go find out? Why don't you? Okay, maybe I will, and I'll go hang out with Herbert instead of watching this stupid movie with you. Okay, fine. I'll go get it. What a mess! Herbert! Not cleaning this up!
Herbert, you made a mess all... God, what took you so long? It's like you have no consideration for anyone else's time. It's actually really annoying. It's not like you spent that time brushing your teeth because your breath stinks, kind of like this movie. The killer hasn't even showed up yet. What's the point? Katie keeps texting me. She, like, wants me to come over or something, but her house smells like cat food. Like, I don't want to go over. We even messed up the popcorn. What is on this? Get ourselves a treat. 